these are black lentil microgreens and they are in a stage where you would say that they're very mature for what they are in terms of how they sprouted, how they developed. And so these were microgreens that I had done somewhat by experiment, by accident, and that I wasn't trying to intentionally produce microgreens. I simply wanted to see how far the sprouting process would go. I was looking to see, okay, I got the basic sprout where you have it, uh, where you have the, the, the sprouts three days, four days old, and you just have the tails, the small tails. And I was curious, how, how long can these tails go? And to my surprise, the tails went quite a, quite a ways. And I saw um, not just a, a greater growth in the lentils, but I saw a difference in the taste and the nutritional profile of these elements. And so that brings me to green lentils, right? And so green lentils are going to be on an entirely different level, right? The green lentils, I found that while they can get to the same level of growth as the black lentils in terms of the microgreen development, that as sprouts go, where you don't go all the way to seven days or even approaching nine days in their development as uh, microgreens, that when you are consuming and developing green lentils to, let's say, just a sprout level, where you just got the smaller tails and you just want to use them either in cooking or you want to consume them raw, and all of these lentils I consumed raw. I did not involve them in any kind of cooking um, during the time that I sprouted them. But I found that the when you're talking about raw lentils and consuming them directly, the green lentils are tastier and more savory, and they absorb things like spices and Himalayan pink salt very well. And when they're moist, or when you've um, rinsed them with some spring water prior to consuming them, you end up with a taste and a texture that I find a little more comforting and a little more palatable just as raw ingredients that you consume directly. Just like you would consume raw vegetables like greens, like leaves, bell peppers, onions, that sort of thing, you would consume those raw you can consume these raw as well once they sprout it, right? And as, as a sprout, they're soft. They're very soft. And I won't say that they melt when you're eating them, but they're almost at that level where now I can now compare them to sprouted pinto beans and sprouted black beans and chickpeas. The sprouted lentils actually they consume much easier, much more easily than those other bean varieties. Although those other bean varieties give you a lot of nutrition and protein elements, I find that sprouted lentils, they have the best combination of nutrient, flavor, and overall texture compared to many other bean varieties that you may sprout. So, and the black beans, when they get to the microgreen, the black lentils, when they get to the microgreen level, they're absolutely phenomenal in their texture and their overall development. So that's kind of the exploration of the sprouted lentils. And if you found this very informative and very worthwhile, please like the video and leave a comment if you have any questions about this. But other than that, thank you for joining me on this journey and I will see you on the other side.